So FM23 is here and it is time to start modding the game to make it look and feel just even, even better. And today we're going to talk about logo packs. Now this video is specifically how to install logo packs on a Mac. If you want to do it for Windows, I do have a video out on the channel. Please do go and check that one out because there are some slight differences to how you do it. And Macs are a little bit more fiddly. So if you've not seen a video like this before, specifically for Mac, drop a like on the video down below subscribe to the channel if you are new around here because we're going to be bringing out lots of how to's uh, on the channel on both Windows and Mac so hopefully you guys can get everything installed exactly as you would like so first and foremost we need to talk about the site that I use for my logo packs now I use the site called sort out SI which you can see on screen here there are several logo packs on sort out SI but personally I prefer the TCM logo pack it's my personal preference what you need to do once you're on here is hit the download the complete pack button now if it is your first time on this site please do download the complete pack they do release update packs as well uh, which you can download and add in any additional changes that have happened in the game but if you're still first time i would definitely recommend downloading the a uh, full pack now this file is quite big there's over 139,000 files in here it has all the club logos it has all the competition logos in both a small and a larger style format to make sure that your game looks as good as it humanly possibly can once you've downloaded that you then need to find the correct file structure now this is actually quite tricky on a mac so what you need to do first and foremost is click on your finder then you need to go to the go section here and you need to find the actual location for where these files need to be stored now this is the tricky bit with max because they actually put the sports interactive folder in two separate locations but this is the one that you need to go to to make sure it is in your game so go on to the go tab and then hit the option key then as you can see here it brings up an additional option of library so once that's there you need to click on that one and then it will bring up your library now you can see i've already gone to the sports interactive folder it's actually listed alphabetically and i've got football manager 2022 which i can now delete and football manager 2023 so you need to go into the football manager 2023 folder but what i would actually suggest you guys do is actually copy this and move it across into your taskbar like i have with mine just move it just drag it and move it across like i have and then it will be in your sidebar like mine is right here then you need to go in and create a graphics folder if you haven't got a graphics folder and if this is the first time you're actually modding the game uh just right click get a new folder and call it graphics it's as simple as that but then you've got your location for where your files need to be sent so then you go into your downloads as you can see here i've got my tcm logos mega pack now you're going to need a piece of software to extract this file i personally use a program called an archiver i really think it's really good i really just genuinely like an archiver i use it relatively regularly for work um, when i'm using a mac um, it's in the app store it's completely free it's completely safe you guys can go and download it and once you've got it here, right click on it, select open with and then the unarchiver. Now the unarchiver will open. There is a section that you can set on it so you open it into a folder. Otherwise it will open it into your downloads and you're going to have to copy it across to the location. Um, but then you need to find where this goes. Obviously I've already extracted mine so we're back in that graphics folder as you can see. We're in my user, in my library, application support, sports interactive, football manager 2023 and then into my graphics folder. And there is the TCM logos mega pack. So we've made our way all the way uh, through. We've extracted our files this may take some time so please do bear with it uh max are actually pretty quick at doing this to be perfectly honest then you need to do a in-game step as you can see here my manager has a lovely scarf around his head and what you need to do guys is you need to go into the preferences section here if you're on the main menu it's just on the main menu if you are in a game already just hit that fm button scroll down hit that preferences button it will most likely open on the most common tab but you need to go over to the interface tab so hit the most common drop down and go over to interface then you need to scroll down until you see oh i was very very quick then the button the box that says skin which if i just select here you can now see sorry i'm looking down it's on a mac my webcam's far too high for this uh, you need to untick this box here which is called uh, titled use caching to decrease page load time so untick that one and then tick this one as well reload the skin when confirming changes in preferences this third option to show the ids of the clubs and the players is entirely up to you it doesn't really do much unless you're modding the game uh, and then if you want to tick that one which i will uh, you can do that there then you hit confirm in the bottom right and you will see this message pop up saying that it is changed 
changing the skin now obviously this takes a little bit of time as well but it's already done on the mac so if i load up this game Oh, let's have a look at Man City test setup here. Just a little tactic test that we're running. I don't, you know, just to make sure things are right for the beta. Um, you can see if we go into the competitions now and we go into the Premier League, every single club is in here with the exception of Manchester United because of their long historical issue with Sports Interactive and actually trying to sue them. Um, so if you do want the Manchester United one, please do jump into my Discord. A link to that will be down in the description and you guys can, I'll, I'll post the files in there so that you guys can come in and get the Manchester United logos in there if you want and I will feel the wrath of Manchester United should that happen but that is how you do the logo packs guys I will be talking about how to do the face packs as well um obviously you can see if we go on to someone like Arsenal all the players and managers all their faces are completely blacked out in a silhouette sort of style um so we're going to talk about that in an upcoming video so make sure you subscribe to the channel and if you are enjoying the fn23 content check out this video right here which is episode one of my beta save with manchester city